All right, so we're in a high voltage lab and we're doing lifters. Yes. Changing over from Arcturus. So this is a whole Correct. new setup. Yes. Now, the reason we can't do Arcturus anymore is because the Arcturus eats things. And we've got robots in the other room, and now we just got a lot of brand new Haas CNC tooling. So no more Tesla coils at that caliber in this building. Yes, we, that, that would be bad. We, we need a high voltage lab, though. Donate, please. So, yeah. The whole building. <laughs> yes. Yeah, big, we need big building. building. Big building. High ceiling. <laughs> so we're doing lifters. Yes. And that involves power supplies. Yes. It's the big hard part. Correct. And tell, tell them the plan. All right. Well, sitting over there, we have two transformers that were the power supply for our turrets. Yeah. Those have to come out. Okay. And that was a 14 Ford pig yes. at 10 kVA. And then yes. we had just the step down transformer. That's, yes. They, yeah. Right. Okay. That's, that's all, that all goes away because the cable that goes across the floor is 480 volts. Okay. Which is what we need for this. Yes. Which is a 75 kilovolt transformer that runs on 480 volts input. 75 kilovolts or 75 kVA or 75 kilovolt transformer rated for one hour at one amp continuous duty. So this thing is a beast. Um, a lot of people get to play with x-ray transformers. X-ray transformers have a duty cycle measured in seconds. They've got like a 1% duty cycle or something insane like that. This thing's rated for an hour of continuous duty at one amp output current. So it's just beefy. And it's, it's a fun toy. It's, uh, for those of you following along that want all the numbers, it is a general electric transformer. It's uh, model number Charlie 252684. Um, its form is Echo, what's W? I Wilco. Um, EW is the form, its type is K, 60 cycles, 75 kVA, one hour, 75,000 volts output, and the primary side, the input is 460 slash 920. So I'm guessing that's by changing yes. these around? Yeah. You put, you put that one there. And if anybody wants to look up the instructions on it, um, the instruction sheet is GE, either I or 1, I'm not sure, dash 23200. That's the instructions for this transformer. You can find those on the internet. Well, the that would be test. nice, because I'd I'd still like to know what this, the uh, sensing That's sensing terminal stuff, is. right there. Yeah, fine. Input, output, ground, vent, sensing. Yes. OK, there I'd you like go. I'd like to know how to wire up the sensors. All right. I'm into instrumentation. <laughs> Okay, well, let's get this in there, and once we put it in, hook it up, we'll cover like all the details of the stuff on top and the diode stack and all that jazz. But good. first, we have to fight this into the cage. Yes. Is so this there's on a lot casters? of current labor. Yeah, it's on casters. Okay. In fact, the, uh, the base plate? Yeah. <laughs> Remember those big AS400 mainframes we had? Yeah. Like years ago, back on. You on, cut the uprights yeah. off and. We, we cut an entire rack off at the bottom shelf. Uh huh. And that is the bottom shelf without the, the sides. I hate to tell you this, but I already did that for my x ray transformer. From an AS400 cabinet? Not an AS400. Oh, I did it from one of those washing machine cartridge modules. Oh, racks. okay. This thing weighs slightly more than a minivan. Oh, it wants to spin. Here, it wants let it to spin. spin. No, you want to. You want to. You really. You want to turn that way, or you want to spin all the way around. But you. You want to pick one or the other. Okay. Well, just it doesn't so spin easy. So push hard. No, you're not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> no, you're going to go forward and turn. Oh, it does want to spin. Well, yeah. then. Oh no, it's that's all it wanted to spin. Okay, now spin it back. Which way? We're going to go around like this. Okay. But it, it doesn't exactly turn on a dime. No, it don't. <laughs> Yeah, this thing okay, weighs there, like, now we're turning, now it, we're turning. It, it weighs several tons, Ugh. so. Bruh. Yeah, get that out of here. Hey, I made the corner. You made the corner. Well, we're going to hit the ground rod. My balls are swinging, Paul. <laughs> That's. All right, we got to get the MMC out of here. Yes. Come so on, where do you want to put that? This has got to go over there. Why? Because that's where the wire is. Oh, okay. Um, well, let's get it over there. I'll push you steer. Okay, you got it. We're headed right there. Why? Yeah, and I'm we're not going to hit it. Ground rods. Oh, where? Right in front of the wheel. Oh, that, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, and it is. We'll just it? yank it right out. We'll move it around. Oh, yeah, all 10 feet of it. <laughs> Actually, you're wrong. These are 8 foot ground rods. You kept saying 10 foot, and I never bothered to correct you. Oh, they're 8? They're 8. Okay. Wow. Whoop, that Where'd was you? a ground rod. I didn't hit, how many do we have? Two, there's a second one back over here. 
It's right under there. Kind of thing you want to let me know about before? I said ground rods, you weren't listening. That's not a ground rod. What's by your That's a ground rod. What's That's that? a floor anchor. It's a bolt. It's floor it's anchor. Into the, okay, fine. It's floor anchor. It's not a ground rod. Okay. It's floor anchor. Okay. It's floor anchor. Why you gotta be like that? Causing problems. Paul, you got a turn tighter in there. I'm, you're, I'm, not, you're not turning, Paul. Yeah, See, yeah, 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 you yeah. lost 150 pounds, and now you're not worth a shit. You're right. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to kill the microphone if I do that. <laughs> okay, don't do that. They're expensive. Good, you get it rolling and... Oh, I, I'll, okay. You get it rolling from that side. I'm rolling. Uh, make that okay, corner? that'll make the corner, but Okay, that was impressive. Them. All right, um, this is disconnected from there, so I'm just going to set that aside. We're going to need the little black cart, aren't we? Well, we're going to need to get these things out. All right, go get the little black dolly, and I'll disconnect all the I wires. I don't know where the little black dolly is, so why don't you go get the little black dolly, and I'll disconnect the wires. Okay, you disconnect the wires, I'll go get the dolly. Watch out for that floor thing. <laughs> hey, Paul. Hey, yeah. I got the dolly. Wonderful. All right, do we want the ballast in here? Uh, leave it in for the time being. We'll figure out if we need we can't, it. We can't use it at 480. It's going to saturate like crazy. We're going to have to come up with something to use as Make the a bad ballast. bumping noises and all that. Lots and lots of microwave what oven transformers. Is that is, that was my attempt at current monitor. Is that the one that you burned up? No. Is that was, that well, over there. Or it was over there. Okay, this thing's disconnected. Oh. You, oh? I put it back on the shelf. Uh, okay. Okay, just for the people, the members watching, um, there, there, is that volts or amps? That, that was volts. Okay, there's a voltmeter on the shelf. Looks uh, this style of voltmeter, the big General Electric ones. And uh, one of them, there was like 20. One of them is totally torched inside, so just be aware of that. You might want to know. Yeah. And one okay. of the high voltage members play okay. around. Somebody's going to die and it's all your fault. Okay, all right, are you this, disconnected? Yeah, it's all disconnected. You, okay. can, you can tip and... Yeah, I, I know. Well, I've, then just get the thing in here. Oh, okay. Hey, go on with your bad self. You ready? Watch your no, hand. Okay. No, no, you got more than that. What do you need? Oh, oh, hang on. I got you tipped up. Oh, that thing's in the way. I got to get the tires up. Okay. All right, you good? Yeah, but Come to... Oh, God, that's heavy. Yes, it is. Oh, I'm going to die. Okay. You know this thing weighs like 300 pounds, right? Yeah. You want me to do that? Or? No, I'll be fine. Okay, you'll be fine. I'll be fine. But if I die today, I just want you to know it was your fault, okay? Okay. Now, this totally is where I trip over that thing in the floor and die moving a transform. Oh, man, there's a lot of copper. Okay, we need... And I got to go up the ramp. Got quite the little bit of debris on the floor here. All right. You want me to do that end? You do this side? Uh, okay. You did the other one. I can do this one. I'll, I'll drive. You'll drive. I'll drive. Oh, yeah. You want me to tip. I want, yeah, because you're the one with the muscles. Muscles, yeah. It's... All right. Okay. You ready? No. Give me a second. If I'm going to okay. herniate myself, I have to be prepared. Watch your hands. All right. Okay. Good? Oh, this is going to leak. Hurry. I got it. Go. Hurry, I gotta hurry, get hurry. down before it falls. Hurry. I'm going, I'm going. It'll only okay, be no a drips, little. No drips, no drips. No drips. No drips. No drips. And uh, now, as we had been mentioning, how in the hell are we gonna current limit this? But this? Yeah. I have no idea. Okay, we need the Allen wrench for real now, though. Yeah, but the current limiting isn't our only problem. What's our other problem? Um, well, we gotta clean this off, yeah. make it pretty. And. I have no idea how we're gonna ah ah ah. What you got? Ah, I've got uh, I've got some transformers that came off the transmitter, and one of those might be 480. Okay. And if we can just grab a 480 volt transformer, short it. We don't need a lot of current. No. I mean, it's only gonna draw an amp on the output side, on the high current side. Okay. Or on to shut All up. All right. Shut up. Shut up. I know. I did. I know. Volts up, amps down, high amps in, low amps out. Mm -hmm. But we don't, need it. we don't need an amp on the output side. Correct. We need very low current. It's, it's Okay. It's the reality voltage. is you could put four MOTs in series and it would still work. 
because each MOT is 120 volts. So that's 480 when you put them in series. So you could use MOTs. And just short the secondary. And just short the secondary. They're so going to get warm. <laughs> All right. So we're back. We've got that moved out. What's next? Uh, lining that up however you want to set it. Um, I'm thinking this side to the wall would be best because Works these are low voltage inputs and I want that, you know, obviously away from the wall a bit. Okay. Which is the uh, pivoting wheels? Is this end the pivoting wheels? I have no idea. Well. Here, I'm pushing. You pivot. Alex is about to die. Get out okay. of there, Alex. There that's, go. that's good enough. I can live with that. Okay. All right, cool. I'm going to work on primary wiring. All right. No, you're going to move. Okay. <laughs> uh, where'd my Allen wrench go? There it went. Do you have the one that fits these? Yes, I do. All right. I'm going to put one in, and you can tap the other one for I'm, current limiting. I'm tempted to put the current limiting over by the control cabinet. I'm fine with that. Then I can just put these two up here. That's right. All right, you two tackle the control cabinet side, and I'll do this side. All right. All right, so what I've um, got here... Putting it at the control cabinet side is a little more difficult than what I had first thought, <laughs> because we'd have to take the screen down. I was wondering when you were going to notice that. So don't go putting those in there unless you want to strip about three feet worth of casing off of that wire. I really don't want to strip three feet of casing off this wire. Well, one of these is going to have to feed into the end of our MOT stack. Yeah, you do that over there. No, that's taking the fence down and given the choice, I'd rather not. I'd rather have the MOT stack over here if... Okay, then... Undo the where, wire you just did. Where do you want to put it? On the floor at your feet. Okay. We'll come up with different wiring to go from the floor up to there. All right, then take him and go find some six gauge. Uh, we aren't going to need that kind of... Well, find an appropriate gauge. We're running the mots. We're using the mots as ballasting. So the primary winding is all we need to current limit to. Okay. Better to run the secondaries open or shorted. Secondary shorted. I was afraid you were going to say that. Boom. Oh. It's just making life difficult. Oh, yeah, I'm, it's me making life difficult. Not, you know, the laws of physics or anything. It's totally me. I'm very totally sorry. Totally you. It's like definitely you, God, always I'm, you. I'm so sorry. Where's my diagonal cutters? I so brought mean a to pair you. out of here. There they are. I'm going to hook up ground on this thing, too. All right, we're here in the Geek Group's high voltage labs with Mr. Kidwell. And we've had Arcturus going for, God, about a year now yeah. or so. And we had to dismantle Arcturus. It's still here. We still have the big Tesla coils. Gemini and Arcturus are still here, but we can't run them in this building because the building isn't big enough to run the high voltage Tesla coils and the CNC equipment. They're too close to each other, and well, they're expensive, and we don't want to kill that. So we're doing lifters. So we've taken the big Tesla coil stuff apart, reconfigured the room, and you've managed to recycle the power supply from Arcturus yes. to work for this. Correct. So tell them about what you got here. All right. The power supply for Arcturus provided 480 volts um, from the mains we have at three phase, and we were stepping it down to get to the uh, pole pig we were running Arcturus off of. And that was 240 in, 480 out, 10 kV, or 240 in, 14.4 kilovolt out, Correct. 10 kV in. Correct. But that was single phase. That was single okay. phase. This is the cable that used to supply Arcturus. Right now we have some current limiting rigged up through a set of four MOTs that are laid out on the floor behind me here, feeding into the input. Uh, this transformer is set up to either be fed by 460 or 920 volts. We've put the windings in parallel, so we're going to feed it the 460. And uh, that's the input side here. Um, we have some current monitoring uh, instrumentation connections here that we're not going to be using, uh, mostly because we're unsure how to connect them. Yeah, we've got to find manuals on that. That would be good. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, ground connection right here, and the output of this transformer is the tower right here. So this is the diode stack in there. 
Correct. Because this is DC out, we yes. think. We're um, relatively certain of that. And then we've got, now, from here, we've got a transmission line set up just because we need something to test it. So this line is just high temp magnet wire that goes down to here, sits on a big insulator. This is used for one of our uh, high voltage pendulum motor demos. And I just wanted something that I could have bristling at 75 kilovolts. And we might arc out the insulator. We just cleaned the dust off it, so we'll see. Um, that insulator is not officially rated for 75 kilovolts. It will probably arc over, but even if it does, we'll know it works and it'll look really cool. So, yeah. mm -hmm. um, This transformer is a 75 kVA transformer that puts out 75,000 volts at one amp and it's rated for one hour continuous duty. So that's why this is a gigantic beast of a transformer. This is not an x-ray transformer. Um, usually when you're playing at 75 or 150 kilovolts DC, you're playing with an x-ray transformer. And the problem with using our regular x-ray transformers for this kind of application is they have really, really short duty cycles. And if you highly load a big x-ray transformer, just put under a gnarly load like a direct arc or stuff like that, the, you'll boil the oil inside it. Mm -hmm. And oh man, is that a mess. So this is a big beefy thing. It does have a vent right here. You can see the vent. Um, so it's safe. And if we do manage to heat it up, which there's no way we're going to do that, um, we'll see some venting here. But we've got it all hooked up. You've got your current limiting on the floor. Yes. And let's want to make some marks. We can do that. Let's make, um, okay, you stand here for safety and watch uh, those. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll sure. Go push the button. Uh huh. All right, we'll go over here. I haven't even turned this on in forever. We're gonna make some marks. Uh, we should. No, he's fine. Um, <laughs> we got to get the camera guys the look out of the on his face. I know it was that. great. I just wish I had the old thing where where it, where it made the noise. Yeah. But it, we don't have anything to make noises anymore. Uh, you're not plugged in. Oh, we have to plug it in. Yes. Okay, I'll work on that. Um, we're going to need an extension cord. Okay. This here is a 10 foot deep ground rod sunk into the floor. And it connects this big copper wire, which connects to this wire, which comes out to this big hook on a uh, uh, it's some kind of fiberglass or something pole. The important thing is the pole doesn't mm. conduct electricity. This is a Jesus stick, also called a chicken stick or hot stick or whatever. But this is a Jesus stick. And the idea is when you're working around high voltage, we'll show you why it's called a Jesus stick real quick. Mr. Kidwell, if you would, please give me a, a low charge, just enough to let me make sure I'm not near anything that could bite me. All right, I'm good. OK. Now this panel arm is why it's called a Jesus stick. Bring it up. I'm going up a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Stop. Take it all the way down. Don't turn it off. Hold the fire button down. Oh, yes. <laughs> Forgot about that. Bring it up easy. There you go. And when, a little more. More, keep going. More. More. There you go. And that's why I'm a little nervous in here because everything's hot. If you would please. Thank you. And that is why they call the Jesus stick, because frequently it'll be a nice quiet day and you poke this in the cabinet, it goes, bah! and you go, Jesus. So yeah, that's a Jesus stick. And I'm gonna set that right there where it's safe.
shot to the arcs. Okay. Especially the ones on top of the transformer. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Mikey, he's not filming. Get on the other camera. They're both filming. Okay. Um, give me 30 seconds. What do we got left on that camera? Transformer, where it's arcing up there. Yeah. And the mods are up in smoke. <laughs> Can you get a shot over here? Can you see that? The <laughs> they are pouring smoke out of the mods. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna stink. All right, let's shoot a wrap up on this. Hold on, I want to see this. This is what? Well, we only got a couple minutes of film left, okay, so let's, let's get this while I got it. Oh, such a wonderful <laughs> yeah. smell! I, I knew they were going to get hot. What do you think? I think they got a little warm. I think they got a little warm. <laughs> oh God, yeah. it stinks! All right, let's wrap this, <laughs> and we'll turn a fan on. Stand in case huh? Stand in case All right. Hurry up! We're getting smoked out of here. <laughs> Ready? All right, so we've got, oh man, it stinks. <laughs> we've got the power supply working. You've just seen a successful test of the new power supply setup. So we'll be back tomorrow in the next installment of this with uh, working on building the lifters. That's the yes. next step. We've got the cage working, so now we work on building lifters. Yes. Cool. All right, thank you, Mr. Kidwell. You're quite welcome. Now let's go work on the next thing. Sounds like a plan. Oh, God, damn. <laughs> Turn the fans on. Yeah, let's get a fan going in there or something. Do we have a